Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to run the health checker script and generate a report for our exchange server in our organization. We will check the health for our exchange server and will generate the report for health, mailboxes, load balancing and vulnerabilities we have in our exchange server. So let's jump to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and let's see how we can download that script. If you go to the Google and search for exchange health check script, you will see this link. You can just open this link and you will be redirected to this page, Microsoft CSS exchange. You can see this script healthchecker.ps1. We can just download this and I will copy this and will create the new folder by the name of script inside the C drive and I will paste the script here. So let me close this. Let me open the exchange management shell. If we see the get exchange server, we have two exchange server that is ex01 and ex02. You can run this script for multiple server, but first of all, we will see how we can run it for the single server. I will navigate to my script folder and you can see we have a script healthchecker.ps1 inside the script. If I try to run this script and will put the server name as ex01 and I will hit the enter. Let me enlarge it. You can see the script is running and it's exporting the data now. So it has exported the data inside the health checker ex01.xml file and also in the text file. In the script folder, you can see we have a two file that is one is txt file and another one is the xml file. You can see it and this is the xml one. So let's close this. Let's try to generate the html report for this because it will not be easy for us to check it. Though it has all the information here, you can see the our virtual directory certificate is not there. You can see the false false statement. You have the certificate information that is the self signed certificate registry keys and we are using the Hyper-V network adapter and you can see the IP address type is Hyper-V processors etc. So instead of seeing in this way, let's go and try to build a HTML report. For that we have to type the build HTML server report and hit enter. It ran successfully. Now you can see we have a exchange all server report here. If I double click it, so now we can see it in a better way. In yellow, it will show us a warning and in red, it will show us some critical information. You can see the server name, generation, exchange version is CU13, the role is mailbox and it is installed on OS data center, time zone, hardware type and here we can see the 16 GB warning. We recommend for the best performance, you should have minimum at least 120 gigs of RAM installed. So you can see all this information in red. You can see system is set to automatically manage the page file. So in green, it is fine. The yellow is a warning and in red, you have to see uh, the red things and you have to work on it so that you can make your exchange secure. In this way, we can detect like what enhancement our server requires. So this is for the single exchange server. But if you have a multiple exchange server, you can also run it for a different server. So what I can do, let me delete this from here and this report, I will also delete the report as well. And let's try to run it for both the server. And you can just put the comma here and put the name of your another server that is EX02 in my case. Let's hit the enter. Now it's collecting the data for ex02 that is our another exchange server script ran successfully and we have uh, two files for two different server let's try to build the html report here we have the html report now you can see that we have a two server here now ex01 and ex02 and we have to work on this like we have to increase the ram up to 128 gigs and on this we have a 10 gigs of ram so we have to increase it the vulnerability has been detected on both the server so we have to fix this thing the power plan it says balanced error so we have to set the power plan page files we have to disable the ip version 6 completely the first report ends here this second report is for the ex02 and here we have the same thing like page file power plan ipv6 tcp keep alive we have to fix these registry value they are null right now by running this script we come to know what we need to fix on our exchange server so that it can be secured same way we can run this load balancer report as well i will hit enter 
Now you can see it has generated the report like front end information and back end information. Three connection, 100% distribution on EX01 and there is no connection and distribution on EX02. Here it will show you how your exchange server are balancing their load. If we see this in a HTML, you can see EX01 and 2 load distribution. 56% on this EX01 and 44% on EX02. Same with the backend request. Let me close this. And if you want to run this script with the particular servers, you can just put the hyphen here and the server list and then put the name of the server like EX01, EX02. Or if you have a more server, you can put the name of your server and then run the script again. Also, if you want to check the mailbox report, you can run this healthchecker.ps1 hyphen mailbox report. And if I hit enter, you can see these are the active databases. Total active mailboxes on the server is 9. No passive mailbox found on the server. It is showing the report for our mailbox databases. And if you want to run it for a particular server, we can just put here the server name. This time I will put ex02 here. Let's see. So inside our ex02 exchange server, we do not have any active mailbox and we only have a db03 database inside it. If we do this, it will show us for the both the server ex02 and ex01. Here I put the both the server. You can see it is for ex02 and it is for the ex01. Same way if we want to check the vulnerability check, you can just switch it to the vulnerability report and hit enter. It is saying that report written to the this JSON file. And here we have this health checker vulnerability report. And if we try to open it on the browser, you can see the version, report date, organization, name of the server is EX01, has vulnerability. It says true. These are the vulnerabilities we have on this EX01 and these are on the EX02. So we have to fix this so that we can make our exchange server secure. If you have these issues, on your exchange server and if you need any help and assistance you can feel free to contact me i hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content